Thank you for joining Pioneer. I'm Chris with Norman Public Library Central, and this is the 24th video in our series on the Swift computer programming language. In our last video, we learned about the enumeration type. We learned how we could create a list of individual items in an enumeration, and then use the compiler and Xcode to autocomplete things and get much more useful and more compiler-friendly options out of it. Your challenge was to create a new enumeration that listed out the kinds of people that might be affiliated with a media project. Here's my solution. I've created a new enumeration called person type that lists author, editor, director, and star. Then in my media type, I've added person type and defaulted it to author. You can download the starter code at lesson24-structs.swift from the Pioneer Library System website. I've provided you with a basic class called media, and I'd like to look at how media works when it gets passed to a function as an argument. So I'm gonna add a new function at the end here. We'll call it make description. And make description is gonna take a media object and it's going to modify it. Let's call our function from Swift in small bytes. And to make sure it worked, let's print out the description. So I've created a new media object. I set its description to something is rotten in Denmark, but then I called make description, which should change my media.description to a really great thinger, and then print that description out. What it should print out is a really great thinger. Let's see if that works. And it does. It's printed out a really great thinger, an excellent description of Hamlet. Now I'd like to introduce you to an alternative to class called the struct. Structs have a big advantage in Swift in that they'll automatically provide an initializer function. If I want to create an initializer that initializes title, person, and description for my class, I have to create that by hand. A struct will do it automatically. As a general rule in Swift, you should use structs whenever you can. My class doesn't derive from any base class, which is a requirement for converting it to struct. To convert it to struct, I just change the keyword from class to struct. I've now created a struct. I can now actually remove my defaults and Swift won't complain because it has automatically created an initializer function for me that allows me to set title, person, and description. In fact, it's warning me about that down here. I didn't set title, person, and description when I constructed media. So let's do that now. And I can delete the following three lines because I don't need them anymore. However, if I scroll down, I see that I'm now getting an error when I try to set the description later on. It says, cannot assign to property my media. It's telling me that my media is a let constant. In this case, my media is the local variable being used in my function. In computer programming, we have a concept called pass by reference or pass by value when we are running a function. When you call a function and send it information, that information might be copied, that's called pass by value, or you might simply get a reference to the original copy that you can modify, called pass by reference. There are some important distinctions for more advanced computer programming topics, but for your purposes right now, just know that if you have sent a struct to a function, that struct has been copied 
and you can't make any changes to that copy. So my make description function can't work at all. We'll delete it. Now that I'm creating my new media structure here and I'm not making any changes to it, I can make it a let constant. You can see that by switching to using a struct instead of a class, we've simplified our code a bit. We've removed several lines and made it clearer and easier to use. So in general, use a struct whenever you can. Your next challenge is to create a struct that stores information about a person, their last name, their first name, and their title. Then modify your media struct so that it takes a list of people so that you can have an author and an editor and a star and a director, etc., all listed out for a single object. Good luck.